Hi, welcome to Tuesdays with Tara. I'm Tara Abundance, and today I'm going to talk about my favorite things. Why am I going to do that? Because this is my birthday week. It's a big one. It's a century one. The big five. Oh. Yep, I'm turning 50 this year. What does that mean to me? Not a whole lot, except that I made it to 50. Uh, birthdays have always been amazing. I've always counted down the days. I've never felt funky about getting older. I just enjoy my life. I enjoy and appreciate each and every day that I have. And so today I just wanted to share some of my favorite things. Uh, and, the, and the main reason is because this is how I live my life. And I just wanna share myself with you a little bit more because I think we've probably rounded somewhere around 20 videos on Tuesdays with Tara, and I look forward to doing so many more. I would love to hear from you, uh, my audience, about things that you might want to hear from me, things that you might want to hear me talk about. Uh, I'm not just going to be sharing tools from now on. I'm going to be sharing some tools, some meditations, but I'm also going to be sharing just thoughts and ideas. And so, starting with today, I just want to share my favorite things. So let's start with that laughter you hear in the background. That's one of my favorite things in the world. My son, who I did not anticipate having uh, in this lifetime, he's six and a half years old and his laughter is my favorite sound in the world. So funny, the timing of that. Oh my goodness, I love it. Um, another thing that I love is trees. As you can see, I've got a tree behind me. I've got my tree earrings on. I've got my tree top on. Um, my next tattoo, which is another one of my favorite things. Right now, I believe I have 12. So this will be my 13th tattoo, is going to be this beautiful image that my dear friend, Peyton Bruin, who is feline fatal. Um, I'm not sure if there's a number. I need to double check that and post it on the screen here. So she created this beautiful tattoo design for me because I um, custom ordered it. So it's a tree with a beautiful yoni in the center because I'm all about the feminine power, uh, Mother Earth. And then it's different animals that belong to, that are my favorites of my friends and family. These two spiders here, that's me and my best friend, Amy. Uh, this alligator and the otter and the cougar all represent my beautiful beloved partner, Michael. Uh, the blue whale and the humpback whale, that blue whale, my son is, it's his favorite whale and the humpback whale, that's my favorite. Uh, my son also loves blue jays. He's a big blue jay um, fan of, of birds in general. He, he even calls himself birdie, um, but he loves dinosaurs too. Uh, so that's wolf. That's me. Fox is my mom. My mom and I are owls. Uh, my dad's a tiger. I'm a hawk. Uh, I'm also a butterfly. This, is, this represents my family with Michael and myself and my sweet son, birdie. This kind of represents a lot of things. I have a, a, already have a butterfly tattoo and a dragonfly tattoo. And um, the dragonfly represents uh, shattering the illusions. And um, I just love it. It's also kind of um, one of my grandma's favorites. So tattoos, I have many. This is one I got last year. My best friend Amy and I got matching tattoos. Hers is kind of going down the side of her arm. Mine's here. And uh, I've got about 12 different ones all over. Um, favorite foods. So one of the things that I love is being vegan. Uh, I primarily love being vegan to support the environment. And yes, I believe in animal rights, of course. I also believe in environmental uh, rights and mostly our planet. She deserves all the support she can get. And to me, being vegan is one of those very uh, powerful ways that I can support our mother earth and our animals and my health. So being vegan gives me an opportunity to try lots of things that I may not otherwise try. 
if I was not vegan. Uh, I do love making and eating raw chocolate. I have my own raw chocolate that I make. Uh, I love creating food. Uh, I call myself a food alchemist and I just love it. I love creating things. I have uh, my own kombucha that I make that I use lots of really yummy ingredients like maca and um, cacao, raw cacao. And I often put uh, Ormus gold in most of my things, which if you don't know what that is, definitely look it up, O-R-M-U-S. It's an uh, acronym. So let's see, what else? I love supporting people. I love um, being involved in people's lives and in people's growth, including my own. I love to see people transform and see people um, grow. And uh, so one of my favorite things is to support people by being kind of a life coach, uh, vocal empowerment supporter, um, you know, just being available. And then I also love the work that I do in CODA because being somebody who loves to help people and support people, and also the fact that I'm an empath uh, kind of lends itself to me being a little bit overly codependent. So I love going to my codependency groups, support groups, and um, that is something that helps me on a regular basis, reading my CODA books and talking to my fellow CODA friends. And then I love being an empath. I love being a highly sensitive person. I love all my gifts and my talents and my abilities. I'm a singer and performer, have been on stage since I was about six years old. And so I love getting in front of people, getting in front of an audience, primarily because I love feeling the energy uh, of the give and take of me being up there and giving and then receiving the love and feedback that, that I get when I'm on stage and then being able to pour it back into an audience. It's one of my favorite things. And then I also love being clairaudient, uh, similar to being clairvoyant. Um, I'm also clairvoyant, but I really especially love being clairaudient. I'm able to hear things beyond and underneath, uh, words that are spoken, sounds that are um, out and about and around. Um, I hear things um, deeper than the average person. And so when I'm working with people, I love to be able to hear what is going on underneath their voice. And it's been a gift uh, that I've had since very young. Um, I love being a channel. I love being able to tap into universal source energy and um, just listening for guidance and opening my heart and my mouth and allowing uh, source to kind of channel through me during sessions with individuals and with groups. I've done that off and on for about mm, 10 or 11 years. Uh, I love writing. I've got my uh, first book here, The Butterfly Process Tools for Transformation by me, Tara Abundance. And I'm in the process of writing my second and third books at the same time. My second book being uh, Tools for the Empath, and I'm going to be um, kind of breaking it down for children, uh, teenagers, and adults. And then my next book that I'm working on also is my vegan gluten-free cookbook uh, and basically helping people learn how to turn regular recipes that they find online that contain lots of different things and making that recipe to their allergy specific issues and concerns. And so that's my second book that's coming hopefully by the end of this year, both the second and third books, both of those will be uh, ready um, for sale. My first one's available on Amazon. And let's see, oh, I've got a dream of creating a food co-op. And I want, uh, I, my goal is to have an actual space, a center. And I've been manifesting and creating this dream for over 25 years. 
Um, and it seems to be really starting to move in that direction. Uh, I feel like maybe this year I'll be able to start taking the larger steps in that direction and also creating uh, a place, a commercial kitchen for me to be able to sell my, my food products. And then I love my geodesic dome. I live in a geodesic dome that I had a dream since I was about 13 years old to live in one. And we just moved in uh, January of 2020 into this house that we took about three years to build. And I'm so happy and blessed to be living in the home of my dreams. And then I think that's pretty much it. I love animals. I love laughing. <laughs> Laughing's my favorite. I love to be present with people. And I just love sharing my gifts and talents and abilities with everyone that I can. And I love receiving gifts and talents and abilities from other people. And the give and take of life, uh, it just fills me up, makes me very, very joyful. My family, my parents, my mom and dad, uh, my brother, my beloved partner, Michael, my best friend, Amy, like those are important people in my life. Uh, dear, dear friends that I have many, many, many of, and all of you know who you are, thinking about you, you know, you know who you are. I love you all so very much. And I love all of my new viewers. And I'm so grateful to you for joining me here each week on Tuesdays with Tara. And I look forward to sharing more videos over the weeks and months. And please, again, let me know if there's anything specific that you would like me to talk about on Tuesdays with Tara, being an empath, being a channel, you know, it doesn't necessarily have to be stuff that just I do, but those are, of course, the things that I, that I know the most. Um, vocal empowerment, I taught voice lessons for um, a very long time, about 30 years and uh, sang on stage, performed on stage, so I could talk about that. But I also love talking about very deeply um, connecting spiritual things, how people work, uh, how the body works. I worked in health food stores and for an acupuncturist. And I just love spending a lot of time tuning into energy and people and the, the planet and nature and animals and just seeing how we can all work together to make this place a happier, more joyful place to live. Have a blessed and beautiful day. Thank you for indulging me in sharing my favorite things. And I look forward to seeing you next week here on Tuesdays with Tara. Happy birthday to me. Mwah. <laughs>